Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and we are playing Mordheim, City of the Damned. In the last episode we went on a deadly mission and it went really 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 well because no one was hurt. So right now we are between shipments so I thought it was a good time to upgrade our skills. So I've already managed to click here on Tiny's and given him Daredevil 2 which will increase our melee damage with 125% instead of 75%. So we still have 751 uh, skills to spend here or so let's see if we can make our leader a little bit better let's see what we can maybe upgrade one of his skills because yeah we have a lot of skills already art of silence days yeah so nine accuracy we can uh, we can actually do that that is really good because that will uh, increase our critical chance with another five percent which would put us at 30 percent which is excellent Okay, so let's do that. It costs us 270. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade Ninyari somehow. But we already are waiting for people to skills here. We, one of the cheaper ones. We could do the crippling shot, which will increase the offensive point, reduced by 2. So that will make it very... And it has a ballistic skill of 16. So that means we can actually use it now. So that's really... We use that all the time. I'm, however, not really interested in the current moment because we don't have funds enough. We, we must be able to play our war band. So let's see if we can give um, one of our. We can give one of these guys another skill. I want Web of Steel, for example. That would be. I think it's under. Uh, let's see. I think it's under weapon skills. Let's see, weapon skills is over here. So that is just 270, and he doesn't have it. It will make him much so much better. So let's give it, give it up to him. Uh, that means that we will be able to parry twice in one turn, which is excellent. Experience. Yeah, that will help a lot. Cool. So now uh, let's see first off uh, how many time, uh, how much time we have here. So we need to. Uh, go next day for five days i think we will have time and three warriors in training yeah i think we will have time for that yes i will end new the day. hired swords are available so we get our shipment request you sent to murder those snarky sneakers has been received and you have been rewarded so we have got some more money so let's see if we can squeeze in some more skills we have still three days left on um, uh, let's see if there is some of these guys that doesn't have web of steel. So let's see. Uh, let's go through our warp guard. I think every one of those has uh, web of steel. Yes. Let's give him something to our scout. We don't don't give him a lot of skills. Uh, so let's see if we can make him better. Uh, so yeah. A little bit boring start. Usually I start with a mission here, but yeah, we are sort of kind of between missions. Uh, so let's see here. What do we have here? We already have side steps. Could we make agility? Which one is that? Because he has really high agility. Increased dodge chance with 10%. It takes three days. That sounds uh, very, very, <laughs> very good for him. That will put him at 110%, so after all the disadvantages and the buffs, he would still have a 95% uh, uh, dodge chance, and that will benefit him very well. So he's our Dodge Master 2000. So cool. And I think we already have upgraded these ones. Maybe we could give one of them those guys swarm here, because it's really cheap, and it only takes two days, so we can... Uh, let's see here. It takes two days, I think. Let's find out. Let's go back here and just check. It just takes one day. So let's see if we can stack the uh, swarm on everyone that doesn't have it. Uh, he already... Uh, warp immunity. So let's see. It's a very cheap spill. You don't maybe have this, let's see. 
Does he al you already have Swarm? Yes. Let's try you then. You don't have Swarm. So let's give you Swarm. After all, this is a Skaven specific skill, which when, when another ally is engaged with the same target, increase the melee hit chance by 5% and the melee critical hit chance by 5%. Not stackable. So yes, it's really, a really helpful one. At least it's just 5%, but it will put him, as you can see, the critical chances. So if you, two guys are fighting him, it will be a 23% chance of hitting him. And those crits will be up. So cool. So now we have more or less exhausted every... Maybe we can give him a new spell now. Let's see. In a, I have to check this again. No. Warp Mist, Warp Lightning. Yeah. I will have to think about that more. I don't want to waste his spell, spell skills without, yeah. It could be a very bad decision. I don't want to, because we have a limited amount of spells. So let's hear. Silent Dead. A new oh. mission is available. So we have finally gotten a new mission here. Uh, Akachu, a weapon has been discovered in the old abandoned raven barracks. These arms would be a great benefit to murder lord Snicket, allowing him to co-equip warpstone hunters without the expense of buying armaments from the Skaven merchants and human traitors. With the weapons from the barracks, the minions of the murder lord will become best armed Skaven in the Mordheim, giving them great advantage over rival bands of Ratman men. If the Murdoch's opponents would continue to compete with him, they have to expend their own resources to equip their minions. The Murdoch's demands are clear. These weapons must be secured and brought safely back to his burrows. So we're number skill here. I think we are Warbands rating is actually around 2021. Oh, it's not that I yet. Uh, interesting. So let's let's go. Let's see how many days we have left. You have two days left. And so let, no shipment rest yet. So let's go for another day. Nothing to report. Let's go for another day. We should be new ready. hired swords are available. So yes, a new shipment has been requested. So we got the new shipment request right when we were done with our between mission stuff here, and they want 270 warp stones in weight. Shouldn't be too hard as we already have 155. So yes, we are in a good budget. I kind of want to have a mission where we just gather some warp stone. A uh, hard, hard or below mission would be very nice to have. Brutal? Maybe not. I want to concentrate on the hard average. That sounds promising. So there we have... Yes. Each one warp, warp band deploys in a wide arc from their wagon, far from each other. So I walk in the fog. Uh, I think this could be working, maybe. Uh, let's see. Weapon theft. Yeah, we will do this one up first. We need to get our budget up. Get some more warp stones. Scouts have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. So let's see how we start here. Uh, it's not that bad. We are deploying in a, in a wide arc. Yeah, I can see it here. We, so I think that will work very well. However, we, we must place out uh, our troops. The only uh, thing I want to happen is to have our action sorcerer here, Yinto right beside Tiny, so we can uh, do his magic on him. So let's see where our enemies are, and it looks like we are fighting mercenaries. So, 
And we need to make the animal. It's one of these uh, one of these uh, missions where you need to steal the idol. I usually don't. I think we have a good concentration of them here. Let's just check here. I think yeah, we were trying to move here. I've remembered that the mercenaries are raised, so we have to try to stay in cover, so we are not. Uh, so we are not. Okay, so our scout. Yeah, you can start over here. That's fine for me. Our Niari, you can start there. That's fine for me. And now it is the only important placement. You, we want you to be close to him. And let's give you some more damage. Yeah, it's good on that, that some of the damage dealers are close to each other. And I think I want to place all my warp guards like that in arc here. Okay, yeah, they will... So this one was a simple one. I, I think I never have gotten this true replacement. Okay, so our scout is starting, of course. Uh, so let's start moving. Uh, I'm just uh, thinking about the general strategy. Uh, we, I want to concentrate my troops. And it's always best to move them in a group. And I think we will try to get through this house here. Um, Try to start and get a position here, strong, a strong position around here somewhere. Because that is what I think I can make in one turn if I'm lucky. Tiny has the problem that is so huge, maybe he can squeeze himself right through that building. So, what I want to do with you... Well, let's just go over here. You have a night event, you have so high agility. Okay, that was a little bit wasteful. Wait. There is more. So, interesting. This was a very good lookout point. Did, we, did this mean that they were spotted someone while uh, moving around here? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, yeah, I'm fine to have him alone. He's very agile. So yeah, let's start. Step, stop you, stop you there. And let's see, it's Tiny's turn. He made his speed check on his own, that's really nice. I think we want to go this way and find out if there is somewhere where we can pass through this house, which it is. So that's really good. Let's place you over here. I will not delay you. Okay, now let's... I would prefer to put you in dodge stance, but no. Uh, let's just end the turn there. I'm fine with that. We don't want him to move, Dini Yari. Uh, we want you close to Tiny. So let's see. We need to go south. And we are pointing south. Is Yeah, that's, that's the door opening. So let's move in this direction. Trying to avoid potential traps. Okay. So... Let's put you over here in Overwatch stance. Should make you a hard target to hit also. Um, but yeah, so as we are fighting mercenaries, they have very good range skills and we want to take the, make it more difficult for them. Okay, so you move through the big opening here, get close to Tiny, cost uh, guidance as usual. Can I use this? Yes, I can. I can through through. Let's let's with filth on Ninjari because he is probably the most closest one to get a good hit on someone. If someone arrives, I don't think we would even see the mercenaries here in the first turn. I think they have uh, deployed in a similar pattern that I have, so we will not see them. Our movement is highly a lot better than theirs. So okay, so let's get over through, the, through this opening. Let's get, get our damage dealers close to where we, we want them. Um, here is a good place. We'll make him a hard target. Have we spotted something while wa walking through the street here? No. So let's dodge. 
and we will probably spot them soon here. Everyone want to go to that concentration of warp stones, of course. So now it's just our warp guards uh, uh, turn to act. So yeah, we have to wait all the mercenaries out because they are kind of. But we are playing, was it a hard mission? I've already forgot, but the hard is not a big uh, upgrade, it's just like 10% more damage. It, it will not make a big difference, we can steamroll them quite well, I think, because of course our units are more specialized and uh, better built than our enemies, which has a random set of abilities uh, compared to us. Okay, so cool, it's time for our warp guards. They have good movement, better than the most. Oh yeah, they're picking some, uh, something up. I'm fine with that if they pick up all the warp stones there and we fight them later. We can probably loot them for the warp stones. I want just to arrive at these warp stones. Those are uh, the concentration I want. So, south my friend. South, south, south. So let's start. The shields has a small ability to have a high range resistance, that means they are more hard, harder to hit. I think the most important thing for us now is just get these guys in a line. I don't care if they are not in parry stance or anything, because the risk of them <laughs> fighting anything now is very small, but yeah, it will create a nice defensive line. And also, the, most of our stuff is kind of high leveled now. Uh, we, I think our armor is actually removing half of the damage here. So, our warp guard is a very good defensive unit now, especially how we built them with a very high HP and uh, and parry chance. Yes. As we do push there. I don't believe we would meet anyone, so... Okay. Can I go through that building? It will save me... It will save me... Some... No, I can't go through it. After we go around us then, I will lose the movement then, but I, I can live with that. Let's put him here. Let's end the turn here and pop him down there. Cool. So, he will have even less range. So, he will fit in perfectly here if we're lucky. No. <laughs> uh, let's just put him in ambush there. It was a lazy move, but yes, I don't a need A new it. round has started. Okay, let's get down. There are scouts. Have we even spotted one of our enemies yet? Let's check the map before we move. I don't think so. We have some warp stones over here that he can pick up, actually. We can sneak him around. I don't see him uh, being too much use in our offensive capabilities. He maybe can come in and flank our enemies later, but uh, it, it, it will not bring damage. He's usually just another stopper, and I don't think we will be needing so many stoppers. Uh, I want those warp stones, and he can pick them up. But I will stay on this side of the fence. Okay. Let's put him in and turn because I don't want him to move. Okay. Let's move you forward. We have our warp stones here. Oh no. Trap. I don't see us the end of the turn, I don't see... Okay, cool. In the area. Our heroes and the special units have higher movement than the other troops, so I can probably pr pick up... But if I pick up something here, I will be stuck on top of the warp stone and then I can't loot it, so it's not the best option. So... I'd rather... Put you over here behind this three, you know, watch stance. At least you can do some damage there. 
and then you see our ancient sorcerer. We have spotted our enemies finally. Where are they? They are at this concentration of warp tones. So that's good. I think we will be able to loot that warp stones before our enemies. That's a good. Let's see, he's too far away. I think you tiny have to roll the stupidity shank on his own. I'm not very happy about that. So, because I can't do guidance, but he has a chance of making it on his own. We didn't make that blends with filth. So let's try again. And then I will, I will just keep to this two spell casting because the spell chances will have so high, high chance of failing otherwise. Okay, they will probably come for us. Yes, there is the leader. I think I will rather wait with him. And attack him in the last turn with the tiny instead. So yes, I will go on defensive there. And then I will put tiny up to beat him down. And then we can stack up to both tiny and scavenger. I think that is the smartest decision. I think the worst unit they have is their mad warlock. It has a very good AOE damage, but I don't see it becomes a very big problem. Let's see if our warp guards can catch up. They have one meter less uh, movement. We gave them, we gave them uh, higher movement uh, with one meter because they have armor proficient, but they are still a lot slower than the other rats. So, but I think they are stretched out, or I hope so. Yeah, they kind of stretch out, but yeah, they will converge on our weakest enemies. So, yeah, they will not be able to reach us here. We will probably get some nice alone time with their leader, and starting uh, the match by killing the leader first is always a a good one because it's a high morale uh, uh, punishment for our enemies. What was that? Was that the henchman? I know is one of the leaders. I think we want to pepper him with yes, six of six offensive points. So. Um, which way are you facing? You're facing in the group. You need to go this way. Okay. Can probably... Cool, so we just want to move up all our warp guard in a nice line. And then we can loot. But I want to have some extra movement first, so let's see. I'm a new to... round has started. Let's see if we can sneak anything in this here. I haven't spotted any enemies close by, and there is uh, three warp stones for us to snatch here. So let's. Get right on top of them, so we can select both of them, so we don't have to waste more than one blue pill. So cool, so let's get that one too. And hopefully we will have one more blue pill to move over to the blue pill uh, uh, warp stone over there, so we can get that one too. That would be excellent. 
Yeah, it's cool. So he is filled up with warp stones. That's awesome. He will manage to take that a lot, even to have to deal with the enemies. I kind of like that. So let's move you in this general direction now. And I don't think I want you in an ambush stance. I don't want you to attack something. As I said before, I want to... He failed his fear test. That's awesome. So let's try out the new daredevil. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have a heavy armor too, so we can do quite a lot of damage here. As you can see, 93 uh, to 40. That's a lot of damage. So as long as we hit with him, our chances to hit should be quite high. Uh, we get a critical there, so yes. That's a low do dodge stance, but I think with the help of a leader, we will probably be able to take him out. So yes, that's awesome. In Yari, I think you will pepper that hero, this hero here, with the help of your war poison. And uh, the new crippling shot will remove most of his. <laughs> it will remove all of his. It will actually remove all of his pills if we hit. So let's see. We want to get in range. So there. So crippling shots will remove two offensive points and that will... So let's see. <laughs> Everything hit. Can we see it already here on the map? Yes, he has only a little bit left. Let's reload. And just for... I'm thinking of putting him behind the warp guard and just... Put him in an overwatch. Yeah, okay, let's just do damage. <laughs> Missed. That was a shame, 99. Okay, let's free reload it still. So yeah, we still have movement. Okay, we have a crippling shot. It doesn't do anything. So let's go for a normal shot. <laughs> let's reload. Move you back. And turn. And Chin Sorcerer, we want to move him out. Go help uh, Tiny there with his guidance, of course. And then we are leader, at least. We was lucky as we are at the same point. Both leaders have the initiative of 61. But this time we start before, which is kind of good. Because then I can move our leader out, cast guidance and then bless with filth on our leader. So yeah, we will stack up damage. So if I put him over here, start with guidance. And then I will, where is our leader? He's over there. Hopefully he can cast mess with field with, uh, we have movement enough. Uh, so let's see, mess with field. Then we would want to use it on Ninyari because he, he would probably hit something every turn. So, as they are coming now, so that will even make it. Yes, I think we made it. Okay, let's yeah, yeah, just let take a risk here and give it to him too. Yeah, why not? And then it put in the dodge stance here. There is room for him to disengage in case he gets disengaged. Okay, let's see. So our two damage dealers are very good damage dealers now, I think. Okay, cool. So let's see what he has here. We don't have no... Okay, so we're... Of course we take the warp stone first. Oh, well, this was an interesting rune of enfeebled on damage dealt 25% chance to remove one offensive point. That's, I want that one. That would be a very useful one. Okay, so we still have room to maneuver for you. So let's maneuver you. Uh, how much did we have left in the backpack? Uh, one. Okay, I will not put you there. Okay, let's put you here. 
in those stands because this time is quite sure uh, that we will get someone. So I'm recently looking here, we have one of the mercenary henchmen in this building here. The other one is quite as spread out in a line like that. That is good news for us because it will probably mean that they will stretch themselves out so they will arrive not as a group but one by one and that will uh, we will benefit a lot from that. Oh yeah. One of the ranged units can however create havoc if he comes up there, the mercenary in that building. You can go out to the balcony in here and rain down death on us. That is probably not, not the most optimal ones. Oh, okay, so we have room to maneuver, so let's get you some warp stones. I can get everyone there, so let's start with the cluster. Oh yes, looting and not all we yeah, I have a good feeling about that. We was uh, just a little bit luck how the warp stone spawn and uh, we got excellent spawn here. Because yes, we can loot everything here and we was kinda lucky that the other spawns was just in front of our enemies. That means they <laughs> probably have brought all the warp stones for us. Okay, so let's move you back here. We want to create a line here so you don't go after our weaker enemies. So which henchman man in it's probably that one, I guess. Okay. I think we got it. We have already taken their down, our morale down to 124. They will root at 59, but after taking this hero out here, I don't think here. He's going for tiny? Now he's going for an action source. Oh gee, that was a one meme. If uh, uh, I can tell you guys, if we hadn't have been so lucky uh, by Ninjari uh, using war poisoning and crypting shot, uh, our action source would have been dead right now. Because, yes. Okay, let's try to surround this guy then. He dodged that one. Well, let's try again. I don't think he has another dodge there. I would really need to move my Asian source and he's disengaged there because he will not be able to handle it here. I, however, our warp guards has, will have no problem at all tanking this damage because they will reduce that damage by half at least. So let's see if we can get the last two uh, warp stones there. How many warp guards I have left after this one? I think it's two more. I think I will engage him uh, with a hero two. And then... Oh. And no, he's in my in the last. Okay. So I'm just thinking here. Tiny will be able to attack him from the behind. Action Sorcerer will be able to disengage. The other units are so far away. I still want. I will use my last warp guard. Let's see. Do I, I have one after him? I will plug this hole with my last warp guard, and then I will engage him here. So we have high crit chances here, and that is kind of accounted. We can do a lot of damage, but we can crit him and stun him if we're lucky. We have, after all, we have that swarm skill now. Okay, cool. And then I will plug the hole with the last warp guard here. So let's put him in web of steel. Two barriers here, cool. And don't worry about it. round has started. And we have our wild card here, over here. Uh, he will not be able to contribute with a lot of damage. I'm actually considering him to switch him over to the shurikens, just because he can real do a small amount of damage and go range. Maybe I will put him in a dodge stance later, but and it's more important than when we have many enemy. Right now we outnumber them so much, so yeah. I'm not
not worrying about the situation there. Okay, cool. So let's move you here. He made his fair test. He has already exhausted all his torches, so I think it will be fairly hit. So let's just wail on him. Yes, they get a free dodge because of their devil. I just remembered, but yeah. But yes, that's some damage at least. Uh, that's a low dodge. Usually, I think it's a 70 dodge, but it depends on what enemy you're dealing with, of course. That's why I have more than 100% on uh, my scout, because, uh, yeah, he will be able to dodge really well, even when he's at disadvantage, yeah. Oh, no, that's the Warlock, man. I really don't like that. So, let's see here on the map, if we can predict what's happening. I don't like this gathering here. We have very strong um, unit here. Uh, which is their Orgre, which is their impressive units, and that's one of the other guys. We don't have any targets for Ninjari for the moment, so I'm thinking it should just put him in an Overwatch. Behind. He could, of course, we can use some of this here, but I think I will kill him before. But in case we don't, uh, we can try to remove some of his. Yeah, everything's ticked. Crippling shot. Okay, didn't I use war poison? Uh, he's kind of dead anyway. But yeah, let's do. Uh, yeah, let's do that free damage. Uh, normal shot. We were poison stick, yeah. He will not he will not act before us in any way. Our leader will be able to kill him if we move him in. He's there. Our ancient sorcerer will be able to kill him actually. So what I want to do here is put him in Overwatch as he has war poison that will remove two blue pills from our enemy if he hits him with the Overwatch. So that's good. So let's do that. And he has two warp guards protecting him. It's could go greedy here and just kill him, but he will die anyway. I'd rather use my... Cool. So let's just move him back a bit. Get the guidance going. We have less with filth. Let's give that to Niniari. Will uh, it's good for him because he has many, many attacks and he doesn't do any damage and it also is less of field of course portion. Uh, uh, you don't have no armor protection for that one. Okay, so who will act after that one? A leader? I think I will. I think I don't even want to use my leader because of no. Uh, their hero will be acting for before Arya. At least just use it on him. It doesn't really matter. Cool. So let's put you in dust dance. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens here. It wasn't a ranged unit in that house. I'm just wondering what they are doing. Can't see them for the moment. I'm curious how much we will win gain by killing that guy. Okay, let's just... Let's get him. And let's just put him inside step there. Now we kill uh, warp down cluster right in front of us. So that's interesting. That one over the area. Yeah, but one armored henchman here, which will make him do it. I would love to <laughs> miss that one. I would love to have. <laughs> 
At least that will uh, remove blue pills on you. Yeah, I would love to have that happen to our scout. Yeah, we went right into our uh, trap too. So, I'm, but he still has movement and he's going for our awesome sorcerer. They really like to go. Oh, please don't, please no more, please no more. Okay, our raging sorcerer is in real danger. We can't, we can't take another attack. It will be more than he can handle. He will get out of action for that for sure. So, so we have another hero at the same time. Hopefully, he has not two-handed weapons. Okay, so let's see. We have two warp cards here. I think I want to keep them here as blockers. They can block near, and then we will move the two other warp guards. And will it be our more mobile uh, plug hole? Oh, there is another one coming there. Give me a break. Try to shoot at our warp guard, but we missed, and it's ranged. So, but we can kill that guy. He was really low on the initiative ladder, so I don't see us having any problems here. However, we can punish this guy. He will have to switch his weapons before he does anything. That will keep him busy. He will most likely will, he will disengage. Uh, that is probably what he will do. And try to shoot at us, because yeah, he usually do. Or he will switch your weapon, so it depends. We'll keep you in a locker stance there. Plug in that area off. So how about you? We have more units coming in on this side. I think we want to start a defensive line on this side. Or that unit will come there and the other ones will come there. Should I go and reinforce our ancient sorcerer? I think we can wail him to death. We can go exhaust all his dodges because he will be a very good dodger. So when Tiny goes attacking him, he will have no dodges left to do. So, yeah, we will probably dodge that. He will have a sh high chance of dodging. So that's why we choose that route. And they are going for... Uh, the reason why they are going for the Ashes Storms is because he is the one... A most new round has hard. started. He's the one that is most hurt. He failed his fear test. Okay, so if I, I think I want to go Daredevil on him. I don't think he has very high. Cool, he failed his dodge. Yeah, he gets a free, free dodge, but yes. As you can see, my hand shot, you know, dog's chances are higher because he's uh, not a hero. Is there an impressive turn? I wonder if he has moved. Okay, so we have one unit coming there. It's a normal henchman. I think if we move forward a bit, we will be able to pepper him. He's my, our only current enemies. So we can get him with kind of everything. So let's start with that. A crippling shot so we can more or less remove yeah. all his use everything you hit here we have filth po poison going too so it shouldn't be super hard uh let's go do i have any any more targets around here yes i have one target here so let's try on uh <laughs> and this is where you actually can be have a good advantage with the blue pills ones because uh they they can't run away so much so let's just try to get him with more poison <laughs> Di didn't stick. I'm out of options. I want him to be behind here so he doesn't get this engaged. So let's switch you over. We are can afford that and still get two hills. Force these units to do a all alone check. So he freaks out. And we got a critical hit yet. That's good. So, can get a free disengage here if we want to. 
but I can't use the dodge stance then. So I will almost always have 95% even though they have really good weapons. Oh, I'm not really liking this situation. I really need to get you further away from the other options. I will put you here. That one will be probably... Our leader is to act later. He's hugging that wall over the air. So let's see. We can't reach him. I'm not liking this situation. Yeah, he has to be immobile. But that's just because Lance, Lance will fifth on a warp guard. Because he's acting later. Okay, cool. So let's see how turn. So here we go. We have a really hit high crit chance of 30%, but it doesn't. So the third strike should be a crit, which will live to a stun, which will really help. Because that will make them waste things and it will be easy to hit. Let's see if what he does. He decided to go. I'm fine with that choice. That's why he is there. Interesting. So. I think we have control over it. I think the Wagre has become stuck. Not the kind of looks like a hero. So now we have two hitters. We, we don't do a lot of damage here, but we can keep him for a long time. And then we can move in our damage dealers to take them out, but at, at the same time, they will keep them stuck there. He has to do a stun recover. Will he, he made his all alone check? Will he disengage? Yes, he will. He's running for his life. You have to be careful. He may be going for an Essence Sorcerer. That range unit we can't have. He may it, didn't make anything, so he can't do anything useful this turn. We don't want to him. I'm, I'm very tempted to rush him in and just tie him up because of his range. Because, yeah, if he shoots our action source or he will be out of action. So, but that will leave that unit in a very bad situation. So, it means that I really want to take that unit out. Mm. But we will go here for damage instead. And force that unit through the wall alone check, of course. But that range unit is our... Uh, uh, most dangerous opponents just because we have one rat with very low health and he has fairly good range without it. Okay, so we have just this guy left. I thought he was stunned. Or did you rise up? Okay, yeah, he's almost dead. Okay, you guys dealt with that guy. Yes, I will send him in. I, w I don't want to ta take that risk. It would be, uh, we will have a risk of getting a little bit clumped up here. And not be able to disengage our units. But I think it's more important. I think these guys can survive this in worst case scenario. And it will, yes, that will cramp his down. A new round has started. Yeah, I think I want to send him here. Yeah, this will be a clump because that hero will probably attack one of my guys here. But yes, I, w I will keep wailing here. Hopefully I have not enough to sidestep. I mean, so I can dodge twice. I don't think he can disengage now either, so we have tied him up, so it was a good decision. We just need one with hit. Cool. He's dead. 
let's move you here up. See if we can get rid of this unit as fast as possible. I can do one hit, two hits. I can do, f uh, I will go with three hits. Because if I do Daredevil, yes, I can do it. I think we have exhausted all his dodge chances also, so it should be very easy to kill him. So I'll rather go with three hits if I can. So let's put you in door. So how is the, are things looking here? That guy is almost dead, that guy is almost dead. Yes, I think we have a, a handle of the situation here. So yes, and there is more warp stones there that I want. I think if we are a bit lucky here, we can snipe them. Actually. Let's see if I can snipe them from here. Seventy-one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we will snipe them. Because that will take them all out. That will free up all our units there. So that's totally worth it. I think 70 is, is a very decent chance. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him again. We have two chances of here, of 70, so I think we can make it. <laughs> so that that's leaves all those rats can do whatever they need to do instead. Do I have another throw in myself? Let's just put you over here. Okay, they had to do a root check. And they didn't ma manage to do it, which means that we, we can go very aggressively to try to collect more warp stones. Because, yes, that will... Let's see, where are you? I want to cast guidance on you. So they are doing root checks now. They are 49 or 50, so yeah, we want to... But I don't want to move him into danger. Okay, so where is Ninyari? He's over here. That's that's where the then and I will talk him in behind the corner here. As he will be safe. Uh talk him in here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in like my mistake. It's time for our hero over here. I'm thinking we want to, and so we will win. I want to get that warp stone. Ouch. It hurts. Cool. I want to run him down here. And turn. Let's see if the root now. Um, I think they made a root check already. If so, yes, they will fight the, the whole turn here. But all of these rats here are now freed up. We don't have any task for them. So they can just go around. See you again? Oh, yes, I delayed you. Uh, so cool. He just went into a watch stance. Interesting choice. I uh, think I want to go block that hero. Let's first of all check. Let's wait. That's for. Oh, do you have something in your. your full. I should check that before. Wasn't that full? Uh, let's see. You were full. Okay, in that case, you go engage that hero. So he doesn't move. Yes, he will ambush me. 59. It's not that. Oh, Jesus, there was a lot of debuffs. Uh, yep. 
but at least he will be stuck there. Ouch. It actually, it's stupid two-handed weapons. They are awful. Oh, it's really, really... That's a high dodge too. Man, he is really, really, really almost taken out the warp gun. I'm very impressed by that. Okay, cool. So how about your backpacks, my friend? You have two? That should be more enough. If we can... Okay, cool. So that was something, something. Let's check the map. We have someone more in that house. I think I was put you in ambush stance here. Wonder if we can reach that warp stone. No. I don't think we will. Let's put you with the hero because we already have so let's first check his. Yes, cool. Yes, curious. I haven't checked the hands henchman there. Okay, cool. So let's end turn here. I don't can do anything more with him. How is your backs? You're empty. Uh, we already checked out, I remember. Just picking it up so I get more loot in the end. Let's give you something to work. Oh, it's not a lot of damage, but at least we will have unit uh, have to spread this damage around a bit, I think. So that's is a Another new round has started. Another turn. I think our scout is full. It's so hard to remember. Yes, he's full. So what should we do with him? He can't do anything more there. We could engage that one there. I think we'll go for the hero. Can I go under the building here? Yeah. <laughs> Giving in another target. Not a lot of damage. Oh, he is peg legged. It means that he can't climb and stuff, but yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can move you through here. He made his fair test. Yeah, so uh, let's go Daredevil on this one. Would be nice with it has a high crit chance, but they are probably have high protection too, so yeah. So what would we do with you? You are uh, however a very good climber, and there's a good chance we can win without you. So let's see, wasn't there a warp drone right here? Yes, I think so. And you can climb very... I think it's over here. Nice! <laughs> I think we almost got all the warp stones here. Let's see. 16, yeah, we got every warp stone there is. So, 
that's put you in Overwatch stance there. Can't do so much more than we do now. He has Steer Devil 2, that's awful. But he seems to be stuck there, so yeah. We are in a safe spot. As we should do. Cool. So, who hasn't acted a warp guard? It depends on if they make their route track or not. They could make it. In case they make it, uh, let's give uh, him less with filth. We still have one more, so let's just give it to him. Raise their out and damage output a bit. Mine now. Um, okay, cool. So we have still some movement left. So let's put you there. Cool. Let's see what he does. The range units that seems to be very busy here. They are approaching in a place where we have. Okay. So what should we do with you? Let's engage you. I thought did we have room for you. No. It's too much people there already. Oh man, what a waste to move it there. Okay. Doesn't really matter. We can't do anything more. You can sidestep here. And uh, put you, let's put you here. So in case the range unit comes, they can't really shoot at him because he needs in cover. Yeah, it didn't hit. I didn't think so. Because, yeah, we are in cover. Okay, so cold. You have less with filth, so you will at least do some damage, and our scout has it too. So. You feel potion two times. Yeah, it stacks up quite well. I think it's your turn later first. He failed his solo loan check, so he can't do anything. Uh, more than put himself in dodge stance. So how about you? Where are you? Uh, you are over there, so let's get everyone else there. Looks like we have... ...full... Okay, so let's put you in ambush stance. Yeah, why not? The range units have stayed well behind the other guys, so let's see here. We have all the warp stones we can get, so let's see if we can just get other stuff, just because, yeah, you always get a percentage uh, of what's left, and uh, that percentage, yeah, that means that we can get some other good news, if we're lucky. Oh no. I didn't want to pick up that. That was a mistake. Now he's kind of stuck here. Let's put you in that stage. I don't think they will make the real check in the, the, another turn here. Okay, let's see here. It's peg legged. Uh, yeah, so the minus 7 agility, I think it's because of his peg leg. At least we have a good apparently chance. A new round has started. Okay. He's almost dead. If we kill him, uh, they will not make the real check. Yeah, they have, they have the impressive left, but I don't think it counts. Okay, let's just wait on him. Cool. So who is after Tiny? Is Niniari is currently stuck in the building. Let's see if we can attack that range unit.
Okay, that's way on the end. I really want purple bracers. I really want to fight Skaven now, Jasper, because we need to want purple uh, bracers. Uh, so, yeah, so the impressive. Yeah, I will go with the normal one here. And no, we don't want the end turn. We want the end in a dodge. So let's see. Yeah, they have one more hero left, so they can still make their all alone check. So it's not over yet. Okay. So let's, re let's re remove two offensive points at least. And then I will go with normal shots because they're cheap. That's for the extra damage. Cool. So, I think I want to end with the Overwatch anyway. So, do a little bit more damage if they move around, and it also stops them a bit. So, they can screw up their plans. <laughs> we won this, this time, we won the root check. So, our most valuable warrior was Tiny, of course. So, we pick it up all the warp stones. Great bold warband is sneaky strong. Fetch find much word stone. Filch will squeak speak to murder lord. Tell him much much. Warband Come climb to. sneak high far. So we picked up all the warp stones on the map. It was only 16 of them, but that was kind of a lot. So advancement 6 max rank 6 cool. Okay. So like we got some air. Bass win. Physical. So it was a hard mission, I think, but it was uh, hard is not that hard any longer. Because our guides are starting to get really good. I'm mostly curious about the loot here. Um, because that is probably the most interesting part here. Okay, most valuable, yes, he got over. His level is only rank 7, so he still has a lot of health to go. Oh, he has already maxed out here, I'm thinking. Battleground bonus, yes. So what did we get to random loot here? Nothing. That was really interesting. I want to have that on my warp card because it removes offensive points. I have a chance of removing an offensive point. That is an awesome skill here. Look at see, I have 155 weight in gold. Let's see here afterwards. We are almost at 241, which is our requirement is 270. So let's pay our warp ban. Cool. And so let's see here. Let's level our rat. And I don't feel he's max rank now. So he can't level any longer. That's kind of interesting. He's the first one to be max rank. I think he, probably in the Yari is our next one. So what are we, what's we doing here? We have spread out. He has a dodge of 85. That's really nice. We could be increase his toughness which will increase his health with five points i don't think we have three points more in strength so i don't see a reason for us putting in it here i think i want to put it just in a year uh, i think i want to put it in toughness yes cool so let's see here brassing our best warp guard is already maxed out so yes there hopefully it will be i don't think it will have points enough i don't i should if i knew before i will arrange it so i, I get full uh, full value here so i get to nine strength before because that's give us other inventory slot i will be needing but yeah is that not okay so but let's see here Another warp. Let's give you maximum toughness as usual. And what should we give you? Intelligence? Yeah, the stun resistance. Yeah, he's just one person. How much is one intelligence? Well, um, whatever. 
Toughness. Let's go to the next one. You didn't level? Yeah, you leveled slow. You're the lowest rank one. Yeah, that's probably why they always concentrate and try to kill you. Because they go for the wicked slink. The one that's most hurt or lowest rank. And yeah, so it's definitely lowest rank. It doesn't rank in so many kills. Probably can change that. So yeah, this really nothing really. Leadership will just help the team a bit. Alertness, yeah, it's already... I uh, have an initiative of 80, so leadership uh, or alertness. But there is an increase in range resistance, so we could say. Uh, yeah, not help us a little bit, <laughs> at least. It's 1% less likely, so uh, one shot in 100 will miss now, and if they shoot, yeah. So that was everyone, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a moment. So intelligence, yeah, we want to find out we want a stun resistance though is two. Yeah, so definitely go for stun resistance. So that's uh, 21 to 43, yeah, that's almost one chance in four to st not get stunned. Okay. So that's what's done here. So let's go back, back, next day. Let's see if we find. Cool, so that was everything for this episode, and as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>